Law enforcement desperately trying to find the man you see on your screen. Fairfield police say he is a suspect in a shooting that left one man dead and two others hospitalized with life threatening injuries. Investigators say he is 25 year old Trine Martinez. Thanks for being with us for Fox 40 News at 10. I'm Eric Rucker. Martinez is accused of opening fire this morning at a 7-Eleven off East Tabor Avenue. Investigators say the shooting happened after the three men stepped in when Martinez was attempting to steal items from that store. Fox 40's Rowena Shaddix was in Fairfield today speaking with members of the community who say this is all very disturbing. It was 522. I looked at the time I was sleeping. I heard um, gunshots. Eileen Santos was in her apartment directly across the street from the 7-Eleven on East Tabor Avenue when the gunshots woke her out of a sound sleep. One resident in the area reported hearing between 10 to 12 gunshots in rapid succession. My dog was barking really bad. He, she was like scared and shaking. So I went back to bed. I locked all my windows. And a few seconds later, I kept hearing a lady yell really bad in the street. Can you hear what she was saying? Help. She was yelling help. When officers arrived, the suspect was gone and one man was dead on scene. The other two gunshot victims were taken to the hospital with life threatening injuries. Family of one of the victims tells Fox 40 that their loved one is on life support. Fox 40 has learned that the suspect was trying to steal beer from the 7 Eleven when the three other men tried to stop him. These were people that just, you know, wanted to stop the, the theft. And um, he went and got a gun and uh, came back and shot all three of them. There's no further uh, incidents tied to this, that it was a, a very unfortunate, isolated incident that, that occurred. This is the city's first homicide of the year. These were good Samaritans. Um, what I'll tell people, and I hate it to be this way because I usually intervene, don't confront people when they're stealing. It's best to be a witness, look at what they're doing, and then talk to police. In Fairfield, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.